Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at Brussels Motor Show to check out the all new 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Sterato. And this is, we can say, off-road Huracan. And on the new Huracan Strato we have the increased ride height by 44 millimeters, which is quite a lot. So you can go to the light off-road much more easier than with the standard Huracan. And in this video we will check out the exterior and also the interior in this exclusive European premiere. So there are not many videos live yet of this car, that's why I'm super happy that I can bring it to you in this video. So let's check out first the exterior. So you can see the livery here, which we'll also take a look shortly. As you can see, we have a very aggressive off-road style design for this car with the livery as well. So really, really nice spec in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And here is the spec sheet with price of this particular car. So let me know what you think about the price as well. So with the premiere of the 911 Dakar, we have also the Huracan Sterato. So let me know which is your favorite, the 911 Dakar or the Huracan Sterato. For me personally, I would choose the Huracan Sterato. I really like this car. I think it uh, makes sense for certain usage. For example, if you drive uh, on a road which is not paved or in a country where the roads are not really ideal, something like that, you can also go to a ski resort so many adventures uh, you can go with this car so i think this is a perfect car for the adventure and really drive the car and not be like terrified to go with this supercar in the non-paved or badly paved uh, environment so i think this is a great idea for uh, car makers to make this kind of off-road supercar because the SUVs, yes, you can go with SUV, but it's heavy, it's bigger. And this one is lighter and uh, has off-road capability, light off-road, of course. So let you know what you think in the comment section down below. So this car is painted in Bianco Fane, which is a matte white paint with these lights. They are not homologated for every market, but they are very cool for the road usage, not in all markets. Also, we have livery in black and red. Red is uh, Rosso Mars and it's very very cool. You can spec this in different colors. You can check it in the configurator. So really really amazing looking uh, livery color accent. Sterato livery on front bonnet and roof. That's uh, what it's called like. We also livery design 63 logo on the front bonnet here in the black. And check out this matte black front arches add-ons. I think it looks really really off-road like and uh, really something unusual so uh, very very interesting looking that's for sure let me know if you would go for this livery or not so these are 19 inch morus rims in forged in matte black and red brake calipers for the carbon ceramic brakes bridgestone off-road tires so let me know your thoughts about this and this car can actually go 260 kilometers per hour as a top speed 161.5 miles per hour and the front tire size is 235 40 rf19 we have also livery color accent side lower band black painted with color accent and sterato at the doors so let me know what you think about the, these details this branding so you can also order it without that. Let me know your thoughts if you would go for it or not. I personally would like it like it is here on the video. I think it looks uh, yeah really nice, really nice detail. And why not go all in uh, with the, the Sturato? I think it's uh, also nice font for this uh, yeah Sturato logo. So here on the lower part of the side skirts we have LP610-4, so 610 horsepower and full wheel drive system. And also at the rear we can see these uh, uh, like add-on fenders with screws, so very very cool. And rear tire size is 285-40RF19. So as mentioned these are the Bridgestone tires and they are called Dueler, so pretty cool. I think they can also drive on the road obviously, but also like a light terrain. And you can also see these Rosso Mars stripes 
on the top and also I think you can attach something on the top like a roof box and also we have the air intake on the roof that's because we need clean air for the engine if you are driving on the sand or uh, where is uh, dust on this kind of environment so all in all really amazing looking uh, off-road supercar we can see it's like a new category of a supercar so really exciting times so in terms of the engine we have the v10 engine that's really aspirated this is 5.2 liter and as the branding says it develops 610 horsepower and here is the order in which cylinder starts on the badge there on the lower part of the engine cover very very cool dual exhaust tips as well and this like an off-road diffuser in this like a light gray color let me know your thoughts about that. So this diffuser reminds me something would be on like SUV, but not quite. So really, really nice usage for that. Torque, we have 560 Newton meters. And we have all-wheel drive system, Haldex Generation 5 with rear mechanical self-locking differential and dual clutch gearbox LDF Lamborghini Doppia Frizione with seven speeds. Also, engine cover has these like three slats. It's not see-through like on some Rakan models. So I think this fits more this off-road vehicle. So now let's open the doors and check out the interior, which is kind of similar to the Huracan, but it has some changes. So here you can see on the screen, Strato branding. And in this case, we have the Alcantara steering wheel with 12 o'clock marking. So the base color for the leather is Nero Ade, so black. Contrast color is Grigio Octans, and you can see carbon fiber on the seats as well. The stitching is Rosso Alala, uh, which is a red shade. And all in all, really nice and this kind of sporty, but also off-road like interior. So let me know your thoughts about it, if you would spec it in different way. Also, in terms of the driving modes, we have the Strada, Sport and Rally. So Strada is for the road. Sport is a sport mode and rally is the new, the most sporty off-road mode. We can also take a look at the interior from the passenger side. The dashboard on the top is also in Alcantara. We have also style packages, Regio Titan Matte and seats are the sport seats, standard size. Belts are in Nero Ade. And here you can see Strato branding on the seats on the inside. Really, really nice spec with this red stitching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also hexagons on the inside of the seats, which is a very, very common theme in the Lamborghini models. And we have also like a small roll cage behind the seats and carbon fiber on the seats, on the back side of the seats. So we can close the door. So very nice. Also, we have this 1964 Lamborghini 350 GT. So this is a historic model, which was also on display. This one is 3.5 liter V12 engine. And this car is finished in blue Arione paint. So really nice. Uh, the price is not there, maybe because it's not for sale. This is a very nice brown interior, which is called the Terra. And all in all, for me, I have seen this car for the first time in person. Check out this crazy exhaust. And it's uh, really cool to compare this uh, previous classic model with the new Sturato. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this new Rakan Sturato in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for many more videos. Thank you very much for your support and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.